Welcome to Essentials Explained. Today we'll be talking about Pace Special, a powerful tool that will be critical to your mastery of Excel. If you enjoy this content, please like and subscribe. Otherwise, let's jump into the content. So let's talk about Pace Special. So I'm just gonna add a new sheet. Shift F11 will do that, or you can actually also just come down here and click New Sheet. That's another way to do that. And I'll put in some numbers, so maybe 100, 100, you know, 400, 900, and then I'll just add a sum down here. So sum, let me make this bold, add a top border. If I grab this and I copy it into column D, you see Excel takes everything with it, right? It has the values, it has the formats I added, it has the formulas. That is just a regular paste, right? So if I hit control C and then I come over here and hit control V, I'm going to get everything that I copied, which sometimes you want, sometimes you only want a subsection of this. And so if you only want a subsection of this, right? Like let's say you wanted to copy this, but you only wanted the values, you didn't want the formula or you didn't want the formatting, if you use control alt v v it'll just paste values and you can see this 1500 is now a value i've lost the bold i've lost the top order all i've done is paste the values into the cell paste special at its core is simply pasting a subset of your range characteristics into a new cell range let's talk about how to do this so what i've done which i prefer is copy and then control alt V pulls up this paste special menu. And then you can toggle through a number of these or use shortcuts to access a different option. Different ways you can do this. You can right click, you can go to paste special, and then you have formulas, you have a number of different things, pretty much everything in that menu. You can also go up here to home paste and then paste values, paste special, which will actually give you the same menu that we just looked at. My preference, control alt V, it's the fastest and it's definitely the easiest in my opinion. Let's talk about the different options here. So formulas, what does that do? That will only paste in our formulas, right? So wherever there's a value, you're gonna get a value because this is technically the formula even though it doesn't have an equal sign. But where you have a formula, right, where you have some B8 to B11, that will paste in the actual formula. So if I grab you know, this and say, paste it down here with formulas, I will now have that formula pasted into cell B17. Pretty simple. If I were to copy this and let's say paste values, I would just get the values. I wouldn't copy the formula. So that is the difference between formulas and values, a couple of different things you can do. So paste special, uh, formats. So I'll paste in formats. doesn't really seem to do anything, right? Cause I don't have anything in these cells, but if you just wanted to paste formats and I probably have done this a lot in this course, you can paste specific formats in different cells. What else can you do? You can paste comments and notes. So I don't have any comments or notes in here, but let's say I want to add a comment. Shift F2 will let you add a comment. And let's say I said, you know, this is comment one because I'm always, you know, so creative. I copy this range and I, you know, copy in comments and notes. It's just copied in this comment into that cell, right? It didn't do it in my top cell because I selected the range. But again, if I came down here, it'll just copy in this comment or note. That is one way to do it. I candidly have not really ever used that, but Maybe you could if you really wanted to. And then data validation. So if you had, you know, I'll just build it maybe a super simple data validation here. But let's say you came over to data validation and you wanted to say, you know, allow um, any whole number between zero and 10 in this range. And I, you know, put nine, nine, six, if I put 11, it's gonna yell at me. So I'll just retry and put one. If I wanted to copy this, but I actually didn't want the values, I just wanted the validation. You can come down here and put validation. And then again, if I put 19, it will yell at me. That is validation. We're not gonna to go too deep into that right now, but we can talk about data validation. If there are questions, let me know in the comment section below. Next 
selection. So a lot of these ones on the right, I honestly don't really use. I'll use in source theme. I never use. The only one I actually really use here is column widths, which I think is pretty helpful, particularly, you know, if you put in, let's say like a column width two or something and you want to build spacing, you can easily just add that in. Or if you have, you know, multiple selections, like we did this in our, our sum if and count if video where you want to use, you know, two cells and then a small one, you can do that and it will update your column widths. That's a pretty clever way to do it. But the rest of the stuff in here on this right hand side, I don't really use. If you figure out a specific use case, you can definitely use formulas and values with the number formats, but won't bring in all your formatting. Last things to hit on these operations. So these are, are pretty helpful, right? If you have a set of numbers, maybe you want to make thousands, you can grab, you know, thousand and then highlight this and go paste special multiply and that will now give you thousands that is sometimes a helpful thing to do you can also get rid of that so if i copy thousands and paste special divide that will remove thousands that's fine let's say for some reason i wanted to add and subtract i can also do that so add or subtract that all works and then probably the, the coolest thing here, or maybe not the coolest, but, but something that you should, you should definitely understand is transpose. So if I use pay special and hit E, it will flip my array from a vertical array. So being in multiple rows in a single column to a horizontal array, which will have one row and multiple columns. And you can use this in conjunction with any of the other pay specials. Right, so I just transpose this, so it took everything with it. It took the format, it took the, the formulas, it took really everything. If I just wanted to grab, you know, my values, I could come over here and paste special V for values, E for transpose, and all you've gotten is your values. Same thing if you wanted to, you know, just grab maybe formats, I could paste special T for formats, E for transpose, and you have this format down here. So you can use these together. Make sure you understand what is in this menu. Really, really helpful to understand how to work with this and what you can do with your pay special to automate the process of building these documents. Excel is all about copy paste and it's all about understanding how can you utilize what you've already done to make your life easier. So one bonus tip here is make sure you understand the layout and the shortcuts within the paste special menu. Let's zoom in and let's talk about some of these shortcuts. When you paste special and use control alt V F, it will give you formulas. And what Excel has done is they've actually underlined the shortcut in this paste special menu. So they've underlined F for formulas. They've underlined V for values. They've underlined T for formats and W for column widths. So they're trying to give you these hints of this is how you could use this menu quickly and efficiently. And all of these different options have shortcuts, right? If you go into operation, you can see D for add, S for subtract, M for multiply, I for divide. Even the transpose option, transpose E, will have that underline option. So make sure you understand where these shortcuts are and if there are paste special options you are using very very frequently like formulas values formats transpose are kind of the four i would really learn make sure you know the shortcuts for those options and they will significantly expedite your process using excel if you're interested in understanding best practices for outputting your data either as a pdf or a printed document please check out the next video in our series otherwise thank you for joining us at essentials explained we look forward to seeing you again soon.